Welcome to BloxCAD. BloxCAD3D.com is a free design tool where you can invent and build your own 3D models. You can register an account for saving and sharing projects, and then click Create Now to start building. To make a model, you'll select blocks from the menus on the left and assemble them together in the workspace. To see your model, click the Render button in the right corner. If you want to export a file for 3D printing, you can use the Generate STL button. Happy building! To start our caterpillar, we'll grab a sphere from the 3D Shapes menu. When you hit Render, you'll see your sphere appear. To make this caterpillar, we're going to need a line of spheres. Notice if we get a second sphere and hit Render, we'll just see the same thing we already have, because they're currently on top of each other. So we need to grab a Translate block and move one of our spheres. I'm going to move it along the y-axis. So we can start by picking any number we want, maybe something small, to see where it'll go. And then we can decide how far apart we want these spheres to be. So I'm going to go a little more, so that our caterpillar is a little more spaced out. From here, I'm going to do a little copy and paste, so that we can start adding more of these body parts to the caterpillar. I've now lined up five spheres, and I'm going to add a little color to a few of them so that we can see the difference here between our, our different pieces of code. Grab a union block that'll let me link all of this code together so that we can keep all our body parts in the same place. I'm also going to double click on this so that I can add a comment. We'll call this body parts. Now I can right click and collapse so that all our body parts are stored together. To add the head, I'm gonna grab another sphere, make it a little bigger this time, we're going to have to use another translation so that we can move it up above this body and forwards a little bit towards us. So I'm going to move it 10 units up the z-axis and a few units along the negative y-axis to push it forward and to the left. There's our head. Now you can go ahead and add some facial features using cylinders and spheres. I added some antenna and two eyes for the antenna. I used black cylinders that I translated a little bit right and left, up along the z-axis, and then towards us along the negative y-axis. And for the eyeballs, I used some spheres that I also translated up, towards us, and side to side. Check out some other caterpillars that people have made. 